What's going on then guys, welcome to a new video. So today then we're gonna to be talking about niches in 2019. So one of the easiest ways to make money in dropshipping then is to sell trending products, obviously because everybody wants them. So over the past kind of couple of months really, I've been doing my own research into what's gonna be popular into 2019. And today then I just wanna share with you some of my findings, some of the niches then that have increased in popularity over the past couple of months, only for that to increase and continue on into 2019 and ultimately then give you guys ideas of what kind of products are going to be popular in the year to come. So that being said then guys that's the top of the video. Thank you for tuning in and let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys? Welcome to my computer. So a couple of things just quickly before we jump into this. Now I'm going to show you guys three niches today. I'm not saying these are the very best niches as it's difficult to kind of put like a price or a value on each niche. Uh, these three niches then are kind of ones that you might not hear everybody else talking about. I don't just like to put the same information as everybody else out there. I wanna show you guys new things essentially. And number two then, um, the way I kind of do product research, I tend to make a list of about 50 products um, and then I'll kind of experiment with five, maybe 10 max at a time, just so it doesn't get too overwhelming. So at the moment I've got all these products um, that I'm going to be working through for 2019 and if you guys want to see a video on those actual products say maybe um, another three of those products the same so instead of three niches three actual products that are on that list then make sure you let me know down below in the comment section or um, leave a like on the video um, either way make sure you let me know and then next video will be actual products for 2019 as well anyway that being said then let's jump straight into the video so the number one or the first niche I want to show you guys then is smart home technology so this is thing Things like you've probably heard of the Amazon Alexa or I think it's called the Google Home Hub and I think Apple have got their own one now as well well they've had it for quite a while so as you can see what I tend to do when it comes to choosing niches and products as well actually is use Google Trends because it's absolutely brilliant you just put a search term in here at the top and then it just shows you really clearly um, like the popularity of this search and as you can see it's slowly and steadily increased um, and the most popular it's ever been was last month. So in terms of it continuing on into 2019 and even more and more popular, then I see absolutely no reason why it wouldn't do that. And you only have to probably think about the kind of people you know, um, more or less, uh, well, a lot of people have an Amazon Alexa, at least that I know um, in their house or some sort of smart technology like smart plugs or smart lights. Um, and the popularity is just going to increase, increase, increase. And it's been out long enough as well for suppliers and factories in China to kind of get it down to a T. So when new technology, when new technologies come out, then a lot of Chinese factories will jump on the bandwagon and know that it's becoming popular in the western world but it usually takes quite a few months if not at least a year for them to kind of iron out all the problems and make a decent quality product essentially so we've gone past that point so you can actually source decent smart home technology products on aliexpress as well so before i actually show you the results and the products on aliexpress um, i just want to point out a couple of things with google trends so number one it gives you like a heat map to tell you where these searches are coming from so ideally you know exactly where to actually advertise these products as well so as you can see it's really popular in Germany then United States Canada um, again so they're the big two English speaking countries and then if you just flick through to the next page you can see Australia UK so it's brilliant it actually tells you where these products are popular as well um, and then if you want to niche it down so rather than just smart home technology specifically you can use this related queries kind of toolbox box as well and again you can just flick through those and it will tell you again it even gives you um, like different ideas of specific products that you can sell as well so definitely something to check out and all you have to do then is simply head across to Aliexpress um, you can start with just putting the niche in in general um, and then filter it by orders and it's going to tell you then exactly what kind of products are the most popular or essentially getting the most orders so if I just flick through a few of these then and just to show you guys the kind of products that they're showing so as you can see as well I just want to point out one thing this particular product advertised that it works with Alexa as well which is absolutely awesome so you know then as long as they've got that system that this particular product is going to work 
Um, and if you have a look at the related categories box down the left as well, it gives you again ideas of what I like to call sub niches then. So kind of niches within a niche. So these are all potentially things that you can go ahead and look at. So as you can see, then you can have smart switches, smart lights, sensors, different alarm systems. They're really popular now. Um, I know on TV in the UK, a lot of people are advertising these um, like the fact that you don't even have to be at home and you can see who's ringing the doorbell at your house uh, so they're getting really popular so I believe in 2019 stuff like this is just going to become more and more popular um, people have been able to control their heating as well from home for a long time um, and eventually everything is pretty much going to go that way um, at point at some point um, in the near future so it's definitely 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 a niche to check out um, and what I want to point out as well is the fact that with trending things, things tend to come to like uh, like a point in which, or like a bubble if you like, and it keeps building, building, and building, and then it pops, and then it'll just be kind of like steadily popular, um, and we haven't reached that point now. So if you get in now, um, and you become good at what you do, and you can offer a range of products, and pretty much be the go-to place for smart technology, um, then there's a huge amount of potential there. So the number one then um, is smart home technology. Moving on to niche number two then guys, and speaking of trending niches, um, the next one is gym leggings. Now I'm probably gonna get a bit of hate of this on this, but it had to be included in this video just because the potential is absolutely massive. We're coming up to the time of year where, going back to that bubble example, then January is that bubble. And I can illustrate that to you guys here so if we look at how um, it's still steadily increased in popularity over the past few years and if we just look at where the spikes are so at the bottom of that spike then is December and then the spike is in January obviously this is when everybody the most popular New Year's resolution is to get fit or lose weight get in shape so this is the time where the majority or most people then are going to be searching uh, for gym leggings um, and as you can see uh, December at the bottom of this spike and then January is the top and the same um, in this year as well so as you can see the uh, the most popular point for this product was January 2018 just gone um, so the same thing is going to happen in January 2019 again you can look at the regions to see where it's most popular where it isn't now America isn't in there which is was surprising to me probably because they um, call leggings something else I'm not quite sure what they choose over there and again they give you related queries and what I want to point out is when I was doing this earlier is um, high-waisted leggings were were up there so high-waisted gym leggings in fact I think I was doing the last five years and I think high-waisted high leggings was becoming more and more popular. So as you can see, it's up there. I'm just getting closer to the point. Let me just try the past 12 months. So let me just try the past 12 months. In fact, I think it might have been UK. Let me just try UK quickly. United Kingdom. So there, as you can see, near over 12,000 monthly searches. Now, this is an extra tool that um, it's a Chrome extension that I've um, installed. It's called Keywords Everywhere. If you search for it, you'll be able to find it. Um, so high-waisted leggings gyms. As you can see, it's a really popular search thing. So again, that's what I call a sub-niche. So it's a niche within a niche. Um, and just to show you guys the kind of product ideas on AliExpress then, um, fairly straightforward. As you can see, now what I would recommend is rather than going where it depends what kind of target market you go after so well my belief would be then a younger audience would prefer something like this one on the right that's a bit more bold and brash a bit more stand stand out ish and then an older generation might prefer something a bit more neutral i might be completely wrong that's just kind of my opinion unless i did the research i wouldn't really know but the reason this is so good as well is number one the potential is absolutely massive and when it comes to actually targeting people as well you don't just target people like fitness in general there's so many different avenues so you can target women who or men maybe men will start wearing leggings believe it or not i have seen quite a few men wear leggings in the gym um but you can target like women interested in yoga because they wear leggings for yoga women interested in crossfit because they wear leggings for crossfit women interested in pilates in bodybuilding there's so many different avenues within the fitness niche that you can go ahead and target that the potential is just absolutely huge so if I was you, I would pick something um, quite bold and brash, quite standout-ish, and even better, um, if you go 
try and find somebody to model it and use a video ad if you can. You can go on, on Fiverr, a website called Fiverr.com and pay someone like two, 300 quid, send them a pair of leggings um, and they'll video it and send you the video back and things like that then it's gonna be absolutely huge. Um, especially in January come in. So uh, number two then, I had to include it in the video just purely because of the potential, um, which is gym leggings. Number three then guys, so for all the people watching this video that don't just want that um, trend in products where sales are gonna drop, they want something they can consistently sell throughout the year, then this niche is for you and it's minimalist jewelry. As you can see then, the popularity has grown over the past few years. So again, there's no reason why this shouldn't continue on. There's loads of different countries where this is popular, mainly in the English speaking ones as well. So as you can see, the US, Australia, Canada, United Kingdom, um, and then a little bit in France as well, should you wanna go that far. But to be honest, those top four should be more than enough to make as much money as you wish to make. Um, again, there's related queries and stuff which gives you kind of ideas or sub niches to search for within AliExpress. So the number one reason then why I've included this in the video is purely because stuff like this will sell all year round, like from January all the way up to December, purely because it applies to so many different occasions. Like, so I've just searched for minimalist jewelry on AliExpress, I've filtered by orders and you you can buy or people will buy stuff like this for somebody all year round and for so many different occasions like i just said so for christmas valentine's day uh, thanksgiving day if you're in america um, birthdays christenings weddings there's so many different occasions and times throughout the year where stuff like this becomes relevant and falls into that kind of gift category which just makes it a great product now one thing to mention is when it comes to advertising this stuff on facebook is you have to be really specific with your audience so for example then these are cat are they earrings these are cat earrings so they would be a lot easier to advertise on facebook than say these hoops here purely because you can target people who love cats and when you advertise in any product then you have to kind of narrow down on a specific audience because if you go quite broad especially when you don't have the pixel data to back it up then you're really going to struggle um, to make any kind of well, to be profitable essentially. So minimalist jewelry is great, but it is quite difficult to be profitable in it just because it is quite general. So when it does come to choosing actual products you wanna advertise on Facebook, then make sure they are specific to a particular occasion or to a particular subject. So like I just showed you some cat earrings, or if we scroll down more cat things, because um, stuff like this is just gonna be so much easier to find an audience or elephant elephant things like this. I have sold stuff within the elephant niche. It's a really Really good niche uh, definitely some potential there um, and that's pretty much all I can say about this it's going to sell all well throughout the year just because there's so many different occasions uh, people can buy this for um, and as you can see as well by Google Trends that it's just increasing in popularity. So in terms of there being a demand for this stuff, it's always gonna be there. If not, it's just gonna increase and get more and more over time as well. So that being said then guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, there's not a lot more I can say on these subjects. Hopefully I've given you guys some inspiration or at least some ideas then, um, or different avenues to start going down, doing more product research and getting excited about 2019. There really is a lot of potential um, and now's the time then to actually capitalize on it and take some action. So as I said at the beginning of the video then, if you actually wanna see a video on specific trending products, make sure you leave a like on this video or leave a comment down below. Um, and that'll be the next video I release then. I'll look at this video tomorrow and see what kind of response I'm getting. Um, and that being said then guys, if you're still watching, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support. Um, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.